Hello everyone and welcome to Rudy's Retro Intel. On today's show we'll do something a little different. We're going to talk about desoldering guns and find out if you're using it properly or not. So let's peek inside and poke around. Stick around. <laughs> All right, so just quick look at the manual here before we start uh, actually getting back to the bench. So um, I'm talking about desoldering pump. Uh, in my case, it's the uh, Hako FR-301. This would apply to basically any desoldering pump, except for the manual pumps. The manual pumps would be something a little different than this because the manual pump, pump does not have a hot tip. So uh, first off, uh, the diagram here showing this is the uh, this two pieces here is the actual nozzle from your desoldering pump. Um, this here is the, along the sides is your solder. This here is your pad on the board and this here represents the board. So with the nozzle being hot, in, uh, in my case a light, uh, an LED cut, turns on when it's ready. So um, you place it against the pin and the solder so it's touching. So you can see here that one side um, is actually touching both the solder and the pin and not the pad. See there's a space between here and the pad. Next you want to, as it's melting, move the um, desoldering iron left and right or side to side so that you're ensuring that all the solder is being melted between the pin and the pads itself. Uh, with that uh, all loosened up and melted, then you'd pull the trigger and it would suck up all the solder into your de into your desoldering pump. Um, note here that you do not touch the pad. So you want to limit or eliminate the the iron, the desoldering uh, uh, pump iron, from touching the pads because if you um, if the pad is overheated, it will separate from the board and become damaged or even removed from the pump. So you might find in some cases that you've been overheating this pad and it will rip off on one side or both sides or the whole pad will come ripped off because it's now no longer um, attached to the board because you've overheated it. So um, with this uh, quick description uh, from the manual, I just you know made a, a little presentation for it. Um, let's go to the bench and I'll show you what I mean. Now it's going to be hard because uh, on the bench uh, I'm not going to be able to zoom in and show what I want, but let's let's give it a try and see what comes up. Okay, so I've uh, did my best to set up my camera to kind of zoom in and what I'm going to be doing. Um, I have my uh, my uh, desoldering pump uh, running. Uh, a little light here that's flashing in the bottom that's telling me that the heat is. Uh, it's ready to go. I'm going to just adjust it slightly. We'll talk more about the heat settings and stuff. Um, the other thing you'll notice, well, maybe you'll not notice, but the board is actually standing up. I'm desoldering this way. I am not desoldering uh, this way, and we'll talk more about that in a moment. But in the meantime, let me show you um, what I've done here with uh, this setup and how I desolder. So um, let's see if I can get that into the camera. Yes, I can. So let me... Just grab the first one here. I'm going to move the, the I'm wiggling the, the soldering pump and I'm pulling out solder. And in some cases, not all the solder comes out. Now I'm trying my best not to touch the actual pad in uh, in some cases you have no choice but as you can see it's coming out so let's do one more and there we go so um, yeah that's how you would uh, uh, start uh, desoldering but let's take another look at a different angle and uh, go from there okay well now with the top view down we can see we have the IC that I've been desoldering and you can see that the pins are pretty much clear um, not all of them some of them especially the ones on the ground um, take more there's another one there that needs a bit more uh, there's a these would look pretty good except this one here 
um, could use some more. So what you would do then is you'd get your your soldering braid out. Let me zoom out a bit here. And you would do is um, get your braid and cut off a little piece. And then um, I would use that uh, with my desoldering tool and I would just put it on there and 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 uh, suck up that solder with my soldering iron. So um, this is what I'm. This is what I'm. Uh, I wanted to show that you know if you're doing it um, correctly uh, according to the manual, you can actually get quite a bit of the solder out and have very little to remove. Um, you can also use a hot uh, the hot air station to heat up. Uh, you would just basically warm up the area with the the heat and then you can start slowly uh, prying the IC out of the board. Now um, let me show you what I do when I am desoldering. Let me just fix the camera a bit here. Alright so the pump is uh, the desoldering uh, pump is a really cool invention um, but I found that if you are, let's flip this over by the way, this is a uh, an 8032 motherboard from a Commodore Pet, a Super Pet that I'm working on. So I've noticed a lot of people desolder, and they go like this, and they're they're doing the they're they're, sh they're putting it on the pad and oh, sorry on the pin, and they're shaking it, and they're doing all kinds of cool stuff, trying to get the um, let's go out the camera here and get a bit more. Uh, they're they're you know they're doing their best to get it out, and then they're constantly have to. Uh, where is um, oh I just had here we go then they're constantly have to turn off the pump they have to stick this metal piece inside to unclog the the solder um, in this particular case you can just pull this back and this little uh, this little uh, reservoir holds the solder so they have to go here and uh, you know clean out the clean out the solder out of the hole there you know play around with it uh, put everything back together so you would put have to put this back in like so hit that button and you keep going now I found um, I've had this I've been using this pump now for about five years and I found the better way to do that is um, not to have not to have the solder pump go down to suck up the solder but have the board on its side and you're basically I'll show it like this, but it's it's really like this. You're desoldering this way, as opposed to having it down. Now, why is it better that way? Okay, let me give me a second here, and I'll I want to move this out of the way. All right. So in your in your gun, in the desoldering gun, the solder travel this the nozzle warms up the solder and the pin. And then you're wiggling it right so that's sucking up the pumps back here it's sucking up the solder through the shaft and into this little um, reservoir um, now this might be different on your desoldering uh, uh, desoldering gun or pump or gun whatever they're calling it um, yeah it's it might be different but it's you're basically the same thing you have a uh, you have the shaft here where it's sucking up the solder going into some reservoir of some kind and um, what happens is that um, if you're pulling, if you're putting this, the, 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 if you're holding it this way, where you're, you're going down, you're having the solder travel up the nozzle and into, into the reservoir. However, when you stop and you go to the next one, the solder inside gets, let me pull this out, the solder inside gets cool. And so by having it this way, the solder, uh, having it uh, you know downwards the solder gets pulled up into here into this uh, reservoir and then falls back down now if you can I don't know if you can zoom in a bit here and take a better look so uh, this one here has a, a pad in the back for where it sucks it you know so it doesn't get any uh, stuff into the actual pump and then here is the hole where the the solder goes through now notice there's um, a section from here from the the hole itself to the edge right there's a there's a section here and what happens is when the solder comes down let me pull this out 
So the solder gets sucked up through the, the, the nozzle and through this hole into the reservoir, right? And so you see the slip here and the way it's designed is that the solder gets sucked through. But if you're holding the gun downwards, the solder then falls down back into the hole and starts clogging up your, your pump. If the, if the nozzle's held upright, like I was just showing you, the solder gets pulled through here and as it goes in, it falls down and falls down and hits and, and rests at the bottom of the reservoir. So it's not blocking the hole. The solder is actually coming in and when it gets pulled in, it's gonna fall down, roll and go along the edge here. This, uh, by doing it this way, it eliminates uh, the need of you having to constantly clean the, the sump, the, the sump pump. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about, sump pump, the desoldering pump. So um, it's a trick that I've learned for, I've been, you know, uh, tried with it, uh, playing with it for quite some time. Like I said, I've been using this for five years now. I've had really good luck with that. I also found out that by um, using the pump this way, I've showed this technique to several people who have a uh, different kind of uh, desoldering iron uh, desoldering pumps and they're saying, oh, yours is much better. Mine is, mine is, doesn't work well. And having, it's always constantly having problems. It's constantly being uh, clogged or having other issues. And I tell them, stop, stop desoldering this way, but desolder this way again. So your board is not upside down. You're taking the board and you're desoldering it this way. And they found out after you know, a bit of trial and error that by doing that, the actual pump becomes less, um, becomes less clogged and works a lot more better, locks more efficiently and, and they're happier with a, their type of pump. Um, the other thing to notice or to be aware of on this one here, this one has a, let's zoom in here. This one has a dial on the bottom for temperature uh, the temperature going to show up for me here. Uh, maybe not so much, but uh, the there's different uh, settings. One, two, three, four. Uh, one is uh, three fifty, um, all up to five, which is five hundred Celsius. I keep mine just below two, so it's around three fifty, three ninety thereabouts. If you're if you're the tip is so hot and when you just touch the pad, it'll actually lift the pad, especially on older uh, boards that are you know 30, 40 plus years old. Um, so it's best not to go crazy with the heat. Um, I use my my soldering station at 350, and I usually put this at between 350 and 375 to, and I find that it works fine. So um, as we saw, we it you know. A good 90% of the solder is out. Just a very little left to go through with the uh, uh, solder wick, and you can also use your hot air um, uh, station to actually just loosen it up and then pop off the, the chip. And uh, yeah, so hopefully you've learned something today, uh, a bit useful. Again, these are tricks that I've I, I, I've uh, been using for quite some time. They work well for me. Um, that presentation I showed at the beginning is actually from the manual. I just kind of made a little difference so you can actually see it better but a lot of people don't want to read the manuals and i'm i'm one of them i said okay here's the pump let's just try and just desolder and see what happens and uh yeah if you read the manual it actually shows you the proper technique of using your tools so take a look at your manual and and see what the what it says if it's different than this one uh let me know and uh yeah, if you found uh, this video interesting, give me a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and uh, hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Take care.